Hey there! Building my own product really gives me a lot of motivation and inspiration for new videos. So here, for example, I'm solving a very simple problem, a front-end problem. I've got uh, a lot of pages in the application, like uh, tags, posts, I can open a tag, and the headers of the pages look more or less the same. But uh, everywhere, if I look at my view code, I uh, have a lot of uh, things that are more or less the same, but the content is slightly different. So here, for example, I go to posts, uh, index, I go to uh, playlist index, uh, I go to playlist show, you see the CSS is more or less uh, the same and it actually looks uh, more or less the same. So we've got like an icon, uh, header text, a subtitle and uh, the content of the page and uh, it's more or less the same wherever we go. And uh, you don't really want to be uh, duplicating yourself uh, in uh, writing HTML and CSS in Ruby on Rails. So we are going to kind of standardize this and uh, well create something like uh, an extraction, a partial for uh, this header or generally page component. And uh, I usually use view components for uh, abstracting the HTML and the view logic. So uh, I have already installed the gem view component and uh, this is a perfect example of an element, a page component uh, that I would abstract using the view component. So let's try to do this. I'm going to create a new view component, Rails generate component. It'll be called, for example, uh, uh, page uh, component. And it will have a few attributes. It will have an icon, it will have a title, a subtitle, and uh, an additional attribute. You see, I have a few pages that are uh, not wide, so not full width, and a few, a few pages that are full width. So, uh, I will add an additional attribute, full width. That can be true or false. So let's create this component and uh, let's have a look at the generated code. We have this uh, app components and page component and it has four different variables that all at the moment have to be present. So let's uh, uh, well try rendering this page component with this HTML on uh, any of our pages. For example, in uh, Playlists uh, index. Let's uh, go to playlists index and here above everything I will say equals render page component dot new and uh, let's refresh. You see it says it is missing the keywords icon, title, subtitle and full width. So let's add some kind of uh, title that will be playlists. Uh, subtitle that will be this one. Uh, what else do we need? We need an icon. So icon will be playlist.svg. Well, we are going to omit the SVG part. So uh, let's say icon equals playlist. And uh, let's make full width uh, false by default. I will go to the component and say full width will be false by default. Let's see. Okay, you see we have this add page template here. We can go to this add page template and try rendering these uh, uh, parameters that we have uh, submitted here. So we can render a title, a subtitle and icon. Uh, now it didn't render because it says it, that uh, there is no such local variable. Uh, maybe if we add attribute reader, add reader, uh, we'll not have to add these uh, ads, but we'll be able to directly have icon, title, and subtitle without having uh, add title, add subtitle. So I will do this uh, add reader icon, title, subtitle. Okay, and you see we have this uh, being rendered, but we also want to take uh, some kind of style. We want to copy this style of the page. So I'm just going to copy uh, everything we had before on the page and I'm going to paste it here. And so here, instead of playlists, I'm going to render the title. Uh, instead of this text, I'm going to render the subtitle. Uh, here, I'm going to have a dynamic icon. So, uh, It'll be just the icon name 
and uh, here we'll be able to render some kind of dynamic content. Let's uh, clean this up and here I'm going to say equals content and I'll remove uh, this. Now let's refresh and here you see we have these playlists that look uh, absolutely identical as what we have uh, lower on the page and uh, we want to render the content. So uh, the content block in uh, a view component allows you to add uh, a block to the view component and render anything inside it. So I will add do and, and let's add just something like hello. And you see hello is being rendered in the place of uh, the content here. And now we can just replace this hello with uh, this uh, content block, the list of uh, posts that we have. So I will add this. I will also well, clean up here a bit so that the lines are not too long. And uh, let's refresh. Okay, so the view component rendered item looks the same as the HTML rendered item. And here is uh, everything we use for the view component rendered item, and here is everything we used for the HTML rendered one. Uh, okay, looks fine. Uh, let's uh, see what if we want it to be optionally full width. For example, here you see we have full width uh, false by default. What if we set it to true? Let's try setting it to true. I'll go here and uh, say uh, full width true. And uh, we would want our layout to change. We would want it to be full width. So uh, let's actually add this conditional logic. I'm going to go back to page component and I will say uh, uh, def full width uh, CSS. And we will have uh, some uh, lines. Uh, now, actually, it will be full width by default if we do not have this uh, MX auto and max width large. So uh, it will be not full width CSS, but uh, column CSS. Column width CSS. And uh, it will be rendered if full width is false. So unless full width. And we are going to add this column width CSS uh, here. Equals column width CSS. And let's see. Um, Undefined variable full width. Uh, let's see. Uh, undefined full width. Uh, maybe I typed something incorrectly. Let's see. Full width. Full width. Okay, it is typed correctly. Interesting. Well, actually, it's the same problem I had before. I would want to add the uh, add full width here. Or instead of using this at, I would add full width to attribute reader. Like this. So let's see. You see, now we have it full width. I will uh, set full width to false. And now we have this uh, column width. Looks fine. Now we can try reusing the same component around our application. So I will uh, remove this previous code. I will uh, copy this component code and let's see how we can use it in other places. Let's go to playlist show here, for example. I'm going to playlists uh, show and I have something very similar. I will uh, have uh, the icon. It's going to be playlist. Uh, here I have uh, a title that is not just title, but uh, also like playlist equals. And here I have a more complex uh, subtitle. So let's start with the easy bits. I will copy the internal component. And now here we would want to have like title would be the playlist title at playlist.title. Uh, but we would also want to have the word playlist. So we would have some kind of indentation like playlist, playlist title. And uh, here for subtitle, it would also be not uh, so simple. It would be some kind of pluralization. Let's see if it would work. I would uh, add subtitle equals pluralize playlists post count. Let's see if it works. I refresh. 
and uh, it seems to be working like this okay so it works uh, what if we want to uh, have something more complex than the uh, inline playlist and playlist title here or here something more complex than uh, just a one-liner for the subtitle well we could uh, use view component slots so you see the way we can pass uh, one block uh, of content in view component if we add the view component slots we can pass multiple blocks uh, uh, for different parts of the page so for example we want to have a block for page um, header or like instead of just rendering the title text we can have a title block uh, let's try doing it with the uh, a header for example let's say renders one header and uh, here in the page component I'm going to say that instead of the title we're going to render header equals header let me comment the title out and uh, in this header we can pass a block so let's refresh you see we don't have the title uh, but we still have the SVG let's uh, pass some kind of block. So I'm going back to the place where we render the component and we will say uh, uh, do uh, component and we will say equals component. Now here we have uh, header. It means it would be dot with header do. And inside this header do, I will pass anything for the header. And here we have this anything for the header rendered. And uh, now you see it's been rendered two times, so it is not very nice. Let's see why is it rendered twice. I have header here, and it shouldn't be here. So let's uh, see. Um, maybe we don't need the equals here. Yeah, exactly. That's why it got rendered uh, twice. So we don't need this equals sign here. Okay, and the cool thing with these uh, slots is that we can pass uh, something more complex than just uh, inline stuff. We can uh, as well just pass this like uh, playlist, uh, then on a new line playlist title, add some classes like, uh, I don't know, uh, span uh, class. Uh, uh, background uh, rows 400 whatever span and here you see we can uh, pass more dynamic content but not just uh, an inline text using these uh, view component slots so yeah that's uh, about it I think it was a good use case of uh, an element of uh, reusable uh, HTML and CSS that can be abstracted to a view component and reused all around the application. And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm taking uh, some uh, repeated uh, HTML and CSS as I have in, I know, tags index, uh, tags show, and abstracting it to a view component where I can dynamically pass the unique parameters per page. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.